frequent heart of violent crime have become major threat to Nigerian's national security. Arts like militancy, insurgency and banditry accumulates to castle rustling, hand robbery and kidnapping for ransom. Kidnapping has remained the most violent form of banditry in Nigeria. It has become the most pervasive and intractable violent crime in the country. Galaxy's news correspondent, Lebi Joseph, takes a look at the scenario in this report. Nigeria has one of the world's highest rates of kidnap for ransom cases. Other countries on top of the list are Venezuela, Mexico, Yemen, Syria, the Philippines, Iraq, Afghanistan and Somalia. Efforts at curbing the menace in the Nigeria community space have not yielded any concrete result. But the problem really, uh, if you ask me, starts first uh, with security intelligence gathering. Um, you know, the, the security architecture is built up in a manner that may not or uh, will not effectively curb that menace. The issue of kidnapping and abandoning in this country is a serious issue. And uh, it has caused, it has become a serious uh, use that have been denting the name of Nigeria generally in the global world. But then the, the law itself has done its best as it were. Usually, the prime targets of kidnapping for ransom are those considered to be wealthy enough to pay a fee in exchange for being freed. Improper administration of punitive measures to kidnappers, which could have served as deterrents to potential culprits, have not helped to reduce the act all over the country. The National Assembly needs also to define these laws accordingly, define the punishment for the bandits, they find the punishment of on, on no government and the kidnappers. But then, uh, the kidnapping is not, a, it's not just an offense being committed by ordinary persons. Of course, that is why you see that it seems to people that maybe the law is not taking its cost. No, the law is actually taking its cost. But In a situation where a kidnapped suspect is charged to court and the case lavishes in court for upwards of 10 years, 7 years, from the trial court all through to the Supreme Court. For me, uh, it, does, it does no, no absolute justice to the victim and to the society. Tactical, forceful inland and frontier policing, which can deal with regions' peculiar circumstances of diverse body lines, forest lands and hinterlands, and total application of punitive measures, can go a long way to stem the trend of banditry in the country. People have to know that when you commit particular, uh, particular offences, you will be caught. When you are caught, you, be, you go through the justice system, system. If you're found guilty, you will die. You will lose your life. And that is the most, you know, uh, uh, deterrence to me that, that, that you can find. In a clear justice, I get you now, particularly lies is affected. It, 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 the, the governor or the president has no choice to give pardon whatsoever. That person, the death one should be signed and let the person face its consequences. So that if this can be done, it can start as a deterrent and everybody will stay tight.